Police say the first person that they had downtown for questioning was the person who called police initially. Within the last 45 minutes, another person pulled up to the scene and got out of a gray car and got uh, went with police. So we're assuming they're presumably talking with police or questioning uh, just as to find out what happened here uh, on this side of West Tulsa. We're learning new information after Tulsa police say a woman was shot and killed near 33rd West Avenue and I-44. Police identified the victim as 30-year-old Corey Shaver. Around 5.30 p.m. on August 7th, Tulsa police responded to the 4800 block of South 35th West Avenue and I-44 in West Tulsa for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they would find an unresponsive woman in the back seat of a running vehicle. We just know at this time that a 30-year-old woman was taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound and pronounced dead at the scene. Here at the scene, what we're seeing as where I'm standing, as you work your way up, you see police units, a canine police unit, and right there in the middle is the medical examiner. A uh, very hectic scene from here all the way over to the other end. I, I would say probably four more cars just in front of the medical examiners. But this is video that we shot a little bit earlier today. What you'll see is two cars parked on the side of the road, one of them being a Honda, and behind it, another vehicle that looks like the windshield has been shot out. I'm not sure which person that car, uh, which car the person who was shot was in, but we do know police believe it did happen in one of those vehicles. We spoke with the lead homicide detective, Brandon Watkins. Here's what he had to say. Uh, about 515 or so, officers were called out to a, uh, a woman with a gunshot wound out here. They arrived. Uh, she was taken to the hospital and she died there. Uh, right now, we're working this as a homicide. The victim was identified as 30-year-old Corey Shaver, who was rushed to a local hospital where she was sadly pronounced dead after succumbing to a gunshot wound to the head. As police arrived at the scene, a man would emerge identifying himself as the individual who phoned police. He was immediately taken to police headquarters for questioning and later released. A close inspection of the scene showed a blown out back window right next to the car where Corey was found, but police weren't sure if there was a connection between the two vehicles. According to an eyewitness, the window had been blown out the night before. Police say first responders found Shaver in this car around 5 o'clock yesterday evening and she was taken to the hospital where she died. Police say Shaver was sitting in the back seat of the car when she was shot. Investigators say when they took one, they took one person downtown for questioning but haven't released any more details. Now there was a car with a blown out back window right next to where the car where Shaver was found but they aren't sure if it's connected. From what I understand, the window got blown out of that car last night, um, but of course we're going to be looking into that as well. Getting two other murders that happened within the last week that Tulsa police, police say are tied to the same after hours club. 19 year old Nakari Owens was shot and killed inside the kickback club early Sunday morning after an altercation. A week earlier, Terrence McAwee was shot and killed while riding in a car on Highway 169 after leaving that same club. Now, just days after Corey's murder, police would announce the names of two persons of interest, brothers Julian and Courtney Smith. Interviewers initially interviewed Courtney Smith, who said someone must have come along and shot her. TPD said the story didn't add up, so the homicide unit continued to search for answers. Detectives found a string of physical and circumstantial evidence pointing to Julian Smith and Courtney Smith as the primary individuals involved in the homicide. It was discovered that both brothers were riding around earlier in the day in the same vehicle Corey was found in. We have new details in the city's latest murder tonight. Tulsa police say they want to talk with these two brothers right here after a woman died from a gunshot wound to the head in West Tulsa. This is the 32nd homicide in Tulsa this year and is the third in the last 10 days. Fox 23's Alex Cash has been talking with detectives. She joins us live. Alex, they say there are some rumors floating around the community right now. That's right, they're calling for calm in the community and they say that the latest three homicides are not linked, but they say they are calling for two brothers to come forward. Lieutenant Brandon Watkins says he wants to speak with these two brothers, Julian and Courtney Smith, in connection with Tulsa's latest homicide. They're the only two people that we need to talk to on this, and uh, we plan on, you know, they, they need to come in and, and give us a chat. Um, otherwise, you know, there's 
going to be more drastic action taken in the very near future. Police say Corey Shaver died after being rushed to the hospital on Monday. Officers say she was found sitting in a running car near 48th Street and West 33rd Avenue with a gunshot in the head. Police say the Smith brothers told them that they found the victim in a car here along this road and detectives now say that evidence points to them being the primary people involved in the homicide. We've got a ton of evidence. Um, you know, we, we were pretty set with this one, um, you know, which is why we only need to talk to those two people, Julian and, and Courtney. We know that the victim and the two suspects were rolling around in the victim's car most of the day together. Um, so, you know, this was not something that somebody was killed because of something else that happened. That's just not the case in this one. This homicide is the third in the last few weeks, coming after a shooting on 169, which left a man dead, and a shooting at the Kickback Club last weekend, in which a 19-year-old man was killed. Lieutenant Watkins says there's no link between the murders, though, and is warning people not to jump to conclusions. People believe that the shooting that happened at the uh, kickback club was somehow connected to this shooting that happened out west of of Corey Shaver and you know based on the information that we have that that's not going to be the case I think there's a lot of people out in the community or putting two and two together because you know some of these people run in the same circles and I think it's leading them to a false conclusion we don't want tempers to get too high and people to do something stupid over over something that they really don't understand at this point one of two brothers wanted for a Tulsa homicide is now in custody. Um, we have confirmed two men wanted for a recent murder now in custody. Records show Courtney Smith was booked into the Tulsa County Jail a little after 10 o'clock last night. He was one of two brothers wanted for a homicide on Monday afternoon. Courtney's brother Julian Smith is still on the run. Investigators say Julian shot a woman named Corey Shaver in the head near 33rd West Avenue and I-44. They say his brother Courtney helped Julian get away. Julian Smith is charged with first degree murder. Courtney Smith is charged with accessory to murder. Corey's murder is the third homicide Tulsa police have investigated in the last eight days. And in all three cases, police are still looking for a suspect. Police are encouraging anyone with information leading to the whereabouts of Julian Smith to come forward. The case remains ongoing.